Have you ever gazed at the night sky and wondered if somewhere out there, someone else might be looking back? The vastness of space has always been a source of endless speculation. But today, we're not just reaching for the stars, we're delving deep into our own history. Let's embark on an exploration to unravel a captivating question. Did the Aztecs, one of the most powerful and sophisticated ancient civilizations, have a connection with extraterrestrials? The Aztecs, an ancient civilization flourishing between the 14th and 16th centuries, remain a subject of immense fascination. Their vast empire, characterized by great cities like Tenochtitlan, is a testament to their architectural and societal brilliance. However, beyond admiration for their tangible accomplishments, the mystery surrounding the origins of their knowledge has given rise to numerous speculations. One element fueling these speculations is the speed with which the Aztecs seemed to progress. In a relatively short time, they developed complex societal structures, architectural wonders, and advanced systems of agriculture, trade, and astronomy. Given the limited technological means available during their era, this rapid advancement has often baffled historians and scholars. Yet it's not just the speed of their progress that's intriguing, it's the magnitude. The Aztecs, for instance, had a calendar system that rivaled, if not surpassed, those of contemporary civilizations. Their understanding of the cosmos was incredibly sophisticated, leading some to wonder how they achieved such insights without the aid of modern telescopes and tools. This intersection of rapid progress and the depth of their knowledge often brings up a tantalizing question. Did they have a source of information unknown to us? While some believe that they might have drawn from lost civilizations or ancient cultures, Others have ventured further out, suggesting an extraterrestrial influence. Tool to this fire are the intricate carvings and drawings discovered in Aztec ruins. Some depict figures that, to the modern eye, bear an uncanny resemblance to what we'd describe as astronauts or unidentified flying objects. These artifacts, while open to interpretation, have provided ample material for those searching for evidence of ancient alien contact. Finally, the very narratives of the Aztecs play into this theory. Their legends and religious beliefs are peppered with references to the stars, heavenly beings, and events that occurred in the sky. For those inclined to speculate, these tales hint at a connection, not just spiritual but perhaps even physical, between the Aztecs and beings from the cosmos. The Aztecs, among many ancient civilizations, had a profound respect for the heavens. Their daily lives, rituals, and even their majestic structures were intricately intertwined with celestial movements. This entwinement was not a mere fascination. It was an understanding so deep that it often leaves one pondering, how did they achieve this without our modern tools and knowledge? One of the most notable aspects of Aztec civilization is their architectural wonders. At the heart of their capital, Tenochtitlan, stood the Templo Mayor, a colossal double pyramid dedicated to the gods of war and rain. But this was not just an ornamental or religious structure. It was a marvel of astronomical precision. The temple was meticulously aligned with specific celestial bodies and events. During certain times of the year, the sun would rise or set, aligning perfectly with the temple's stairs, creating a visual spectacle that symbolized the descent or ascent of their deities. These alignments were not coincidental. They showcased the Aztecs' intricate knowledge of the solar year and the equinoxes. Furthermore, other structures around the city, and indeed across the Aztec Empire, were positioned concerning specific stars, constellations, and planetary movements. This suggests a systematic and comprehensive understanding of the sky. But why? For the Aztecs, the heavens weren't just a vast expanse above, they were a mirror to their world below. By aligning their buildings with the heavens, they believed they could draw down the power and favor of the gods. Beyond architecture, the very layout of their cities and ceremonial ball courts also demonstrated this celestial connection. These areas were designed to mirror the Milky Way, certain constellations, and other celestial phenomena, turning their cities into a reflection of the universe. The precision with which the Aztecs achieved these alignments is nothing short of remarkable. Without the telescopic technology we possess today, they relied on naked eye observations and perhaps sophisticated tools made of materials like obsidian and quartz. The depth of their understanding has led some to suggest that perhaps this knowledge was not entirely of terrestrial origin. Could it be that the Aztecs had guidance from a more advanced civilization, maybe even extraterrestrial? While there's no concrete evidence to confirm such theories, 
The mere existence of their awe-inspiring sky-aligned architecture keeps the door of speculation wide open. The Aztecs held a rich tapestry of gods and deities that governed various aspects of their world, many of which had clear associations with celestial objects and phenomena. These connections between the gods and the skies were not just symbolic, but were fundamental to Aztec beliefs and rituals, raising questions about their origin and the profound nature of these associations. One of the most revered gods in the Aztec pantheon was Huitzilopochtli, the sun god and god of war. Depicted as a hummingbird or an eagle, he was believed to be in a constant battle, fighting against the darkness to ensure the sun's rebirth every morning. The daily journey of the sun was seen as a mirror to Huitzilopochtli's struggle, a cosmic play where the sun's setting was a temporary defeat, only to rise again triumphant. The sun, the most visible and significant celestial body, was not just a glowing disk in the sky for the Aztecs, it was the embodiment of a god, a deity that battled daily for them. Similarly, the moon god Tequistacatl had his own tail, often depicted as an older deity who carries a large white shell symbolizing the lunar glow. In certain Aztec myths, it was believed that Tequistacatl attempted to become the sun but was unsuccessful, resigning him to his cooler, dimmer state as the moon. Then there were the Tzitzimime, celestial deities associated with stars. They were believed to be the protectors of the heavens, often portrayed as skeletal figures that could descend to earth during solar eclipses, symbolizing the temporary chaos in the heavens. These beings, while terrifying, were essential in maintaining the cosmic balance. The centrality of these celestial gods in Aztec myths and daily life points to an intense focus on the skies. Rituals, sacrifices and ceremonies were meticulously planned around celestial events. Given the detailed stories and characteristics attributed to these gods, one cannot help but wonder, were these narratives born solely from human imagination and observation? Or might they have been influenced by encounters or teachings from beings beyond our world? Some suggest that the detailed and profound connections between the gods and celestial bodies might hint at ancient encounters with beings from the skies, possibly extraterrestrials. While this remains a theory without definitive evidence, the intricate relationship the Aztecs held with their gods from the heavens continues to captivate our imagination and fuel such intriguing speculations. The Aztecs, like many ancient civilizations, have left behind a legacy of artifacts and records that still surprise and intrigue researchers today. Among the vast array of their cultural and scientific accomplishments, there are a few that stand out and make us question the sources of their knowledge. Could it be possible that some of this knowledge came from a source not of this earth? One of the first pieces of evidence that jumps out is the Aztec calendar, also known as the Sunstone. This massive, intricately carved stone, weighing around 25 tons, displays a comprehensive understanding of time and astronomy. It not only recorded days, months and cosmic cycles, but also depicted various gods and mythological creatures, suggesting a link between celestial phenomena and their deities. The precision with which the Aztecs could predict solar and lunar eclipses, the Venus cycle and other celestial events is astonishing. Their ability to track and record these cycles with such accuracy without the aid of telescopic equipment is still a topic of research and debate. Then, there's the matter of their architectural prowess. The city of Tenochtitlan, the capital of the Aztec Empire, was an engineering marvel of its time. Floating gardens, aqueducts, and a complex grid system of canals showcased a knowledge of civil engineering and urban planning that was highly advanced for its era. The temples and pyramids of the city aligned with specific celestial bodies stood as testaments to the Aztec's advanced knowledge in both architecture and astronomy. The ceremonial mask of Xutacutli, the god of fire, offers another clue. Made of turquoise mosaics, the mask showcases a detailed knowledge of lapidary work. The precision in which each tiny piece of turquoise was shaped and assembled is a testament to their advanced craftsmanship. How the Aztecs acquired such detailed knowledge in various fields, from metallurgy to gem crafting, remains an intriguing question. Moreover, in Aztec mythology, Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent god, is described as a wise teacher who brought knowledge of agriculture, metallurgy, and the arts to the Aztecs. Depictions of this deity, often shown as a snake with feathers or even in more humanoid forms with elaborate headgear, have led some to speculate about extraterrestrial connections. Could Quetzalcoatl's descriptions be an ancient interpretation of a visitor from another world? 
one who brought new knowledge and technologies to the Aztecs. While definitive evidence linking the Aztecs to extraterrestrial beings is elusive, the civilization's advanced artifacts and knowledge continue to fuel such theories. The precision of their calendars, the sophistication of their architecture, and the intricate details of their artwork all pose questions about the origins of their advanced understanding. Were these accomplishments the result of human ingenuity alone, or might there have been some otherworldly influence? The debate rages on, but one thing is for sure. The legacy of the Aztecs continues to captivate and inspire wonder in all who delve into their mysteries. The Aztecs, residing in what is today central Mexico, were not only masterful engineers and fierce warriors, but also exceptional astronomers and storytellers. Their relationship with the heavens was not a mere fascination. It was an integral part of their daily life, religion, and identity. As the night sky unfolded above them, the Aztecs saw not just stars, but tales of gods, creation, and the cosmic dance of time and destiny. Central to Aztec astronomy was the observance of celestial bodies, especially the movement of the Sun, Moon, and Venus. Venus, particularly, was of paramount importance. The Aztecs called it the morning and evening star. Its cycles, both as the morning star and the evening star, were meticulously recorded and its appearances and disappearances were used to time certain ritual events and ceremonies. This emphasis on Venus is not entirely surprising, given that its brightness is surpassed only by the sun and the moon in the night sky. However, more than just tracking celestial bodies, the Aztecs wove intricate myths around them. The Milky Way, for instance, was seen as the pathway of the dead, a shimmering road that souls traveled on their journey to the afterlife, this luminescent band across the night sky was not just a collection of stars to the Aztecs, it was a spiritual guide, a beacon for those who had passed on. And as always, I hope you enjoyed our video today. Thanks for watching.